Protester attacked French embassy in Burkina Faso over allegedly harboring ousted president. Angry protesters have attacked the French embassy in Burkina Faso's capital after supporters of the West African nation New Coup's leaders accused friend of harboring the ousted interim president, a charge French authorities vehemently denied. Cole Paul Henry Sandago Dambida was overthrown late on Friday, less than nine months after he mounted a coup in Burkina Faso, which has been failing to effectively counter rising violence by Islamic extremists. Comments by a junta spokesperson on Saturday set into motion an outburst of anger in Ouagadougou, the capital. Damiba has tried to retreat to the Cambodian French military base and prepare a counteroffensive in order to show divide amongst our defense and security forces, said Lanch Chin Baptiste Cabri, reading a statement on behalf of the new junta leadership. Video on social media showed president with lit torch outside the perimeters of the French embassy, and other images show part of the compound ablaze. In Burkina Faso, second largest city, Bobo Dulasso, angry crowds also vandalized the French Institute, Damida. Whereabouts remain unknown, but France Foreign Ministry issues a strong word statement. We formally deny involvement in the event unfolding by Burkina Faso. The camp where the French forces are based has never hosted Paul Henry Sandago Dambida, nor has our embassy. It said, French Foreign Minister spokesperson Annie Claire Legendary later told France 24 on Saturday night that it was a confusing situation in Outdadu, and she urged French citizens to stay at home. Ibrahim Tadru, the 34 years old army captain who was named in charge after the Friday evening coup, was announced on the state television. Said in interview that he and his men did not seek to harm Damida, who, unlike other deposed leaders in the region, has yet to offer his resignation. If we wanted, we would take him within five minutes of fighting, and maybe he would be dead. The president. But we don't want this catastrophe," Traoré told the Voice of America. "We don't want to harm him because we don't have any personal problem with him. We're fighting for Burkina Faso," he later told Radio Omega. "We have no intention to bring Damira to justice. We only wish that he would go rest because he's tired. And as for us, we are going to continue to do the work. Roads remain blocked off." In Wagandudu, a helicopter could be near flying overhead. An internal security analyst for the EU, seen by the Associated Press, said that there was abnormal military movement in the city. As uncertainty prevailed, the international community widely commended the ousting of Damida, who overthrew the country's democratically elected president in January. The African Union and the West African Region Bloc, known. As ECOWAS sharply criticized the development, ECOWAS find this new power grab inappropriate at a time when progress has been made. The bloc said, citing Damiba's recent agreement to return to constitutional order by July 2024. After taking powers in January, Damiba promised to end the Islamic extremist violence that was forced two million people to flee their homes in Burkina Faso. But the group of officers led by Trow said on Friday that Dambida had failed and was being removed. The new junta leadership said it would commit all fighting forces to refocus on the security issues and the restoration of the integrity of our territory. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.